So those are the parts to uh, install a complete shaking table. This is the bolts to uh, fix the head motion, uh, to fix the angle regulator and uh, the engine. Those three parts together to connect the head motion to the table surface. Those are our bracing plate and the bracing plate base. The big flywheel belts motor. Here is the table surface and the oil feeder, water feeder, head motion, angle regulator, channel steel frame. We place the angle regulator or slope adjuster to the channel steel firstly. Both of them, the slope adjusters to fix to the channel steel firstly. So those are the boards to connect the slope adjuster to the channel steel. Those are the bracing plate to put in the bottom of the shaking boxes. Here is the shaking box. And the bracing plate to put on the base. So now we put the table. On the slope adjuster. So we need to fit each other. The bracing plate against to the steel plate under the shaking table. So we place the head motion on the front part of the channel steel. Take a look. Those are the bolts to fix the head motion to the channel steel. It takes time to fit each other. Okay, here we go. We are getting the cover of the machine firstly and then peel those uh, yeah those stuff and take this part off. Yeah, that's it. How we fix the cover back? Okay. Now we put the motor on the channel steel. Take a look. Those are the bolts to tight the motor on the channel steel. Now we connect the motor and the big flywheel with the belts. Two belts are necessary here.
Now we are ready to connecting the head motion to the table surface. So pay attention. So we put a connecting board on it through the two bolts. And then now another steel plate belongs to the con connector. Yeah. Two of them could form a connector. So now we screw the bolts. So we move the table surface forward to suit the last bolt here to connect the table surface. So this is the oil pipe. We need to connect this oil pump to this oil tube. So this is the way to replicate the system inside the head motion. Take a look. This is how it could be finally about the connection. When the installation is finished, we need to check the four bracing plates to see if it's upright to the bottom or not. If one of them are not upright to the bottom, we could adjust the bolts here. There are enough space in the bottom for us to move forward or backward. If all of them are not upright, we need to adjust the distance between the head motion and the table surface by these bolts. It's a medium sized shaking table, so the oil feeder and the water feeder are not separated. And now, what we are doing is to fix this feeder to this plate. Before running the shaking table, the lubricating oil should be added to two parts. The first one is this head motion. But generally speaking, engine oil is recommended. The amount of oil should be added to this place around this level. The second part are the four shaking box. The amount of oil for this shaking box is around this level. If we need to adjust the stroke, we need to unscrew the bolt firstly and rotate the hand wheel. Rotate the hand wheel to make the toggle plate sit upward to get a larger stroke. And rotate the hand wheel to make the toggle plate sit downward to get a lot smaller stroke. If we want to change the frequency, there are two ways. 
The first way is to change a different sized belt wheel. And the second way is to configure the shaking table with the variable frequency motor. It's the way to adjust the slope of the table surface. Uh, clockwise the rotation to ensure a bigger slope for big size range and uh, counterclockwise rotation to ensure a smaller slope for fine size material. For the shaking table we have four different models and uh, the installation for them are almost the same. Any more questions about installation you could call us or send email to me. Thank you.